A UK man dubbed the London patient is giving people hope. He's now just the second person ever who appears to be cleared of HIV. Doctors are reporting their findings in the journal Nature, where it's noted that the second patient is free of HIV after stem cell therapy, and that the breakthrough suggests the first case was not a one-off and could pave the way for future treatments. The latest patient, whose name has not been released, received a bone marrow transplant from an HIV-resistant donor. And now his doctors say he's been in remission from HIV, the virus that causes AIDS, for a year and a half and is no longer taking HIV drugs. But researchers say it is too soon to say he's been cured. The man is being called the London patient because his case is much like the Berlin patient story. In 2007, Timothy Brown underwent a similar treatment in Germany, and he is still said to be HIV free. But as Reuters health correspondent points out, the treatment is not a cure for all. Bone marrow stem cell transplants are very complicated, they're very expensive, and they're very risky. Um, in effect, they can kill you if they go wrong. Um, so this isn't translatable to a wide population of people. What it does mean, though, is that scientists can explore this avenue, this genetic mutation, and focus on that as a potential cure in the future. In a statement, the International AIDS Society says in part the hope is that this will eventually lead to a safe, cost-effective and easy strategy to achieve these results using gene technology or antibody techniques. Around the world, some 37 million people are currently infected with HIV. And here in Canada, according to the latest numbers from Public Health, an estimated 63,000 plus people are living with HIV in our country.